Welcome you all to Grade 7 English Online class. Today we are going to discuss activity number 5 uh, in unit number 5. So take out your previous book and turn to page number 54. Uh, it is a writing activity. Describe the following picture of early civilization. Uh, last uh, In the last activity we learned what is early civilization. Manava Janavasa Aramba Vim. You may use the phra uh, phrases in activity 4. So here you have to describe this uh, given picture. You can use these phrases also. First, uh, I will, I'm going to teach you all how to describe a picture. Right. Uh, describing picture or picture description. So, you have to remember these four points I have given here. What is in the picture? So, the first thing. When you have to describe a picture, the first thing you have to do is you have to write what is in the picture. In this picture, I can see. You can use this phrase or you can use there is, there are. In this picture, I can see a farmer. There is a farmer. There are farmers. I can see a farmer. There are farmers. And where? Muna the pinture tiyan ito. Pasi kohe the pinture mewa tiyan ni kira toala de liyan na At the top, bottom of the picture, top kila kiyan ni uda. Bottom kila kiyan ni pinture pahala. In the middle of the picture kiyan ni pinture madha. On the left, mam patte, himanatan dakhnu patte. Ito kuta me pinture tiyan deval tiyan thana describe kara na pulwa. For an example, if we take this picture, uh, at the top, no, at the middle of the picture, in the middle of the picture, uh, there is a man standing like that. In the middle of the picture, there is a man standing like that. Describe what is happening. If you look at the picture, say what is happening. Look at the picture, when you look at the picture. Here we have to use present continuous tense. Present continuous tense. R and E is the ing form. So we have to use the present continuous tense. For an example, the man is walking. In the picture, the man is walking. The people are eating. So we have past tense. What is the past tense? What is the past tense? Describe the past tense. Present continuous. Me dang when the ak. Apni dang me pin thole diha bala liya ni sa. Dang when we dihe tamai liya ni. The man is walking. The people are eating. Uh, the birds are flying. Uh, like that. The last thing. If something isn't clear, then pin thole tine samhara de bala wala hariye tamai pehadi di natang wala liya ni pulon. It looks like a hut. Me ka mukhadde ke hariye tamai pehadi di natang. It might be a cow. Maybe it is a picture of a uh, village. Can hurry it? Vishwas and Ati Deval Lian could have made phrases use Karana Pulva. So I have, um, I wanted you to give these phrases because you can use them when you describe a picture. So the first thing you have to do is copy down these things into your writing book so you can use them uh, when you're describing this picture. Right now, let's move on to the picture given here. Uh, look at uh, look at the picture given and list out the things that you can see. What can you see? Here, there is a man. There is a woman. There are some cows. There is a dog. And this man is, what is he doing? He is cutting paddy. And there are some, a small child, a woman. There are some huts. There are a lot of trees. The sky is there. And some of the... Uh, Men are working. First, identify the things that you can see. So, these uh, words will help you to write your sentences. Here, in the middle of the picture, a man is walking. A man is standing. What is he carrying? A mamati or a... We call it a... Ho. Mamati or a ho. udalla. So, you can use any of these words when you are writing. The man in the middle of the picture is holding a mamati. And aswana nila na wat himanatta nguyam kapa na wat apati kiya na pulwa. Crop. Aswana kila kiya na crop. Himanatta. Goyam. Paddy. So, a man is cutting the paddy. 
like that you can use these words and what is a sickle here this man is cutting uh, the crop or the paddy using a sickle sickle means their catter you can use this word sickle and who is this person we can call him a farm and a dog is there a woman is there lake here there is a lake huts or houses are there trees are there here there is a pig here and cows are also there so you can use these words also when you are writing so the basically you have to use these phrases uh, there is a man standing in the middle of the picture uh, the there is a dog there are lots of trees so use these phrases and write 10 sentences 